Hey, what's up? This is Hunter from Tortoise and Hare Software, and today we're going to be talking about analyzing landing page performance with heat mapping tools and screen recordings. Um, so I'm going to pop over to our screen share here, and uh, first we're going to take a look at some heat mapping tools. Um, so this is a called Hotjar and I've already configured some kind of heat maps here and I'm gonna look at one um, we've got 334 views on this heat map um, the max is a thousand views that it can capture so it'd be nice to have a little bit more but uh, there's 330 which is enough to at least take a you know kind of cursory look um, so within this tool it's gonna kind of load in here with like uh, click data um, but the first thing I usually like to look at when I am analyzing kind of uh, landing page performance is um, scroll depth. And scroll depth is basically like how far down people scrolled on your page um, when they were visiting your site. Uh, so this is the home page of the Tortoise and Hare software website. And home pages can be a little bit different. Um, normally because people are going straight to the top navigation so they're usually going to have a little bit lower uh, scroll depth uh, than other pages but um, in general I look for a 15 percent rate of people reaching the bottom of the page so this is kind of the average fold um, of, of basically all the desktop visitors so this just knowing kind of where your average fold is at can kind of help you optimize your above the fold content um, so we know this is kind of like our average fold based on this page, um, which is fine. You know, some people's will be higher up, some people's will be lower, um, but this is the, uh, the average, which is great because all the content that I want above the fold is, you know, squarely within that uh, above average range. Um, you know, as we scroll down, it will continue to get bluer and bluer as you move down the page. Um, you know, you can kind of see that there's, it jumps from about 75 to about 50% um, right here within this. And that's usually just because most people, again, on a home page are going up to the top nav and moving to another page without really scrolling down. Um, you know, there's just like a lot of like competitors, surveyors, and just people who aren't necessarily, they're just like kind of checking things out. Um, and I'll show you what that looks like here in a second. Um, but you know, of the interested people, you know, we can see we get to 50%. But you know, we retain about 25% of the visitors for a good solid scroll throughout the entire page. And then as we get kind of lower and lower towards the bottom, you know, we're right at that 15% uh, target, which usually tells me that you know we have a, a good enough performing landing page. 15% of people are getting to the bottom. Um, if you have a bad page, I mean, it'll be pretty much 100% drop off right, right here. Um, or you'll be able to like see, you know, the point at which there's um, a, you know, barrier or something that people aren't liking that's saying like, you know, usually you'll see like, oh, something right here, I didn't like that, boom, you'll just see like all the drop off. Um, there won't be like a smooth kind of scrolling uh, abandonment pattern. Um, like on this page um, so that's kind of the scroll depth you know we can also look at kind of like movement um, so this is where people are moving around on the site with their mouse um, you can see that there's a big hot spot right here under the services um, and then some of the other you know navigation items um, but a ton of people are going to the you know straight to the services uh, drop down there um, and then usually just kind of like hovering their mouse around the um, main CTA slash uh, title subtitle. Um, and then like these movement kind of things can be really good to help you identify like, you know, if somebody wants um, a, a link in a paragraph, you'll often see them kind of like move their mouse a lot around something that they want an additional resource on. Um, you can kind of get some clues as to what the more engaging components of your um, uh, page are and I'll just kind of scroll down and you know let you see that um, and yeah boom you can also see like right here like you know LinkedIn is one of the more engaged with spots um, and then people are engaging with the footer bottom nav uh, 
through doing this analysis, I noticed that Facebook is kind of um, on my uh, number two slot here, kind of right beside LinkedIn, and people are clicking or at least moving on that. And uh, Facebook's a lower priority now, so I actually, after analyzing this, moved YouTube over from the far right to the far left. So, you know, there's like all sorts of little like micro things that you can fix by looking at these. Um, at this data. So I'm going to switch over here to the click view. So this is, you know, where people actually clicked on the site. Um, you know, you can see again, services has a nice little, um, you know, 7% click rate there. Um, you know, a lot of this is going to be hover based. Um, so not necessarily clicks, but you can also see, you know, 11% of people, roughly 15 clicks here, um, are clicking the contact. And that's, you know, probably a lot of people looking to <laughs> spam, um, but because most of people who are going to actually like contact are usually going to come in through a free consultation on a landing page other than kind of the home page. Um, you know, as we scroll down, um, click on the graphic there. Um, I noticed this. Uh, you know, you can kind of use the like services proxy here to see what people are most interested. And I noticed on the mobile and on the, you know, the desktop here that there was a little bit of engagement on SEO, Google Ads, and performance measurement, which is good because those are kind of like primary services. Um, I'm gonna pop down here, seeing a couple people convert convert on the the download. Uh, clicking on LinkedIn and Facebook and engaging with the bottom footer nav. Um, and then I'm going to swap this over to the mobile view. You know, you can look at some of these uh, similar sort of data uh, for the mobile view. Again, um, see a bunch of people kind of invet engaging with the hamburger nav, um, the about copy, a lot of interest in the websites, content marketing, and performance measurement. Um, so, you know, one thing I could potentially do, I'm going to let this run and collect more data, but, you know, I might move like uh, performance measurement content marketing up, you know, so that like it's uh, easier for people to access. You know, you, you want to move the, the primary, the high priority stuff up to the top. So that's kind of like a little takeaway here. Um, SaaS person wanted to know some, in, some industry page information. Um, people clicking, clicking to view more testimonials and some footer uh, navigation engagement. Um, so, you know, I've redesigned this uh, page a lot and uh, got it closer to where I wanted to be. But, you know, one thing that really jumped out at me was that there wasn't a lot of people clicking on the book a free consultation on the home page. So if you have been following along here on YouTube, I've run a split test here uh, that's currently running and will be running for the next 90 days to test this offer, see if there's a better primary CTA. Um, you know, right now I'm testing, book, you know, request a free proposal here, and then also gonna test a couple of other things. But in both mobile and uh, desktop, the primary CTA above the fold was not engaged with, which is, um, you know, not, I, I, I would like at least a few people to. So experimenting with the offer there could also try uh, something softer, like, you know, view all services or something and just getting that. Cause you know, if you get people clicking through on your page, that's great for SEO. Um, and you know, you just want people uh, engaging with the site. Um, so that's heat mapping. Um, and again, only got 330 views on this one, but I just kind of wanted to share what I'm looking at on, you know, website. And this is, you know, something I do for retainer clients too to measure performance of their landing pages. Um, and yeah, so I'm also gonna show you a screen recording here, and this one actually came in today. Um, and I'm pretty sure it was a competitor just checking things out, but you know, you can kind of see. Um, these these screen recordings are really good because they can help you identify things in like live browsing um, that can be very useful. So for instance, uh, right there, um, 
that person just breezed through this really heavily without you know um, really stopping to look at the content of this website package features table um, and kind of gave me an idea here of you know I've got the um, I'll come over to this page real quick so I've got like you know hosting features web design features the development features blog design SEO you know all these kind of features broken down within this table but it is pretty long and it can be a little bit of a you know wall of texty thing so you know I had an idea from looking at, at that screen recording to basically put these portions of the table into an accordion instead to make them more digestible for people who are you know so that could collapse and expand so if people are interested in a certain component of the package you know they can expand to view more details there so that's kind of like a idea I had from looking at this recording um, so that was one thing I wanted to highlight um, I'll let the recording run here a little bit more and oh that was so uh, this is gonna pop up on another page but I saw a styling issue um, on their device so here it is so like I saw on this SEO page and I saw it on that last page too that the icons here are too big on this particular device um, so you know I have adjusted the responsive um, sizing of these icons on uh, tablets versus mobile which is desktop but I see here that there's probably like an in-between browser size that this is creating a negative user experience and this is a bug slash styling issue that I need to fix um, so that's one of the reasons that these screen recordings can be so great because you know like this you know this is SEO this is conversion rate optimization is just fixing this small stuff like this like the, the more like I always like to say digital marketing is a game of inches so you know each little thing or each little negative experience that you can kind of clean up across various browser sizes and different browsers and device sizes and um, just all the different kind of ways that people and conditions that people can interact with on your site um, then the better and the higher your conversion rate will be the better you'll rank in search engines you know all that stuff so in that sense these uh these screen recordings can be a super useful tool to um, you know analyze uh, periodically to look for you know issues that have cropped up so um, I'm gonna go ahead and stop the screen recording here because those were kind of the two examples that I wanted to highlight but um, you know and you can look at these kind of recordings and filter them based on like you know if you want to look at ones that contained a specific landing page you can look at ones that the user journey started with that landing page um, or finished with that landing page and then kind of see what the overall interaction with you know looked like and these can help you narrow in and make sure that you're creating the right content and um, you know that your website is resonating with your uh, target uh, visitors and buyers um, so hope you liked the video that's kind of the um, what I had to talk to through today um, we covered kind of analyzing website landing pages with heat mapping software and looking at kind of scroll depths uh, click click heat mapping moving heat mapping checking out desktop versus mobile and uh, you know some of uh, those ways you can analyze those pages with that heat mapping software and then we also looked at a screen recording kind of example and how that can help you uncover optimizations by just you know seeing how people inter are interacting with your site um, so if you need help with this sort of stuff uh, feel free to get in touch um, again hope you like the video and my name is Hunter with Tortoise and Hair Software and thanks for watching